Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, coming to you today again from the home office because I wanted to do a video on the durability and sort of a long-term uh, review type video on the Nelco discuses that we sell on the Elite Throws Coaching website. All right, so all of the new Nelco discuses from Nelco USA have this PMD technology and PMD actually stands for preventative mechanism against damage. Now what that is essentially is a way that they make these plates. There are um, things that are molded along with the plate that are sort of on the inside of the discus that you can't see that kind of creates a support structure for the plates. It's also the way that the plate fits into the rim um, is a little different than a typical discus. So what that does is it makes the plate a little bit more uh, or a little bit less susceptible to damage. So I'm gonna show you, without showing you the, the name brand, very typical what happens. So you can see here on this discus, see how it's got this little metal plate here on the top? That little metal plate has started to kind of mushroom. It's, it's had a lot of hard landings and it started to mushroom. Now what you can do is, you can take this apart, you can try to flatten it out and everything else, but it's never really gonna be perfect like it was from the factory. Same thing here, you can see on the other side, even the other side has started to mushroom. I put it up against my shirt a little bit so you can see, kind of mushroom and pop out. The other thing that happens to a lot of other discuses are that the plates start to pop out and get really loose. And you can see that here, there's this lip where you can almost put my finger underneath and lift the plate out. The plates have started to pop out of the rim. Um, not necessarily the best thing. You see this one's starting to mushroom and pop out as well. I can actually get my finger right underneath that little plate on the top. And if you listen closely, the plate is really, really loose. If you listen closely, you can also hear my English Bulldog George snoring in the background. Hopefully not that well. To give you a little bit of background, I am in Rhode Island. In Rhode Island, we throw the hammer in high school. So when I throw discus, it's almost like you're throwing in college. You throw discus out of that hammer cage. The discus circle is in the hammer cage. Now in Rhode Island, our hammer cages are made out of chain link fence. So they're not made out of net, like a net that drapes down from the top, like you would see in the Olympics or like you would see at a really high level college. They are made out of chain link fence. The chain link fence is metal and does a heck of a lot of damage when they hit the cage, when they hit a metal post, when they are dropped in the circle, which is a cement circle. Um, now you add on to that the fact that our throwing area is the football practice field. And right now football season has already started. So there is no more grass, it is mud and rocks. They leave the football equipment out over the weekends. So we're not talking about like, you know, little padded uh, kind of things. They take the pads off of the blocking sleds and they actually leave the metal sleds out in the middle of the throwing sector. We try our best to get them out of the way, but the only place we can put them is right along the right sector line. And because I work with beginner throwers, most of their throws go down the right sector line. So what do you think happens? These Nelcos have crashed into the cages, the chain link fence, they've been dropped in the middle of the cement circle, they've been landing on mud and rocks. We also throw these all winter. As long as there's no snow on the ground, we throw outside on frozen, rocky, muddy ground. And they're banging into all different types of throwing equipment, um, of football equipment that's on that right sector line. So let's see some damage. As you can see right here, the biggest damage, this hit the very, very top of one of those blocking sleds that did not have the padding on top. It was just basically just a metal blade that the pad sits on top of. It hit it perfectly. I thought when this hit, I was gonna go, you can actually see it gouged the metal rim. So that's how hard this thing hit it actually took a chunk out of the metal rim. It sliced all the way across the top of the plate. But 
Let's take a look at it. So there's the, there it is. Did the plate pop out of the rim? Nope. Did the plate break in half? Nope. Are there any holes in the plate? There's a big old chunk taken out of it. Are there any holes in the plate? Nope, no holes in the plate. Everything here is still intact and you are still able to throw this. Now, is it going to pass an official's inspection during like a championship track meet? Absolutely not, but at practice, we just throw it now with this side down because look at this side, even though it's all scraped up and beat up, is absolutely perfect. So you wanna talk about holding up to some damage, this guy holds up to a lot of damage. All right, so let's take a look at the Challenger. Now the Challenger, as you can see, has a lot of dings and dents and scrapes and everything else from hitting rocks. It's got a little chunk taken out of it right there. It's got a big scratch right up by the rim. You can see here on the other side, we throw it, big chunk taken out right there. Everything though is totally, totally intact. And I mean that, it is completely intact. This is not a metal plate like you see on some of these other discs like this one. This is actually a colored piece of the plastic. So this is not something that can kind of, uh, you know, pop out or nothing that can mushroom and get really uh, kind of nasty looking like the other ones that we have here. But this is another discus. This is one of the originals. These two were the two original discuses that Bruce down at Nelco USA sent to me and they have held up wonderfully. We have newer ones that look even better than these, even though they've been thrown all summer. They were thrown in meets. They were thrown by beginner throwers that are all going down the right sector line, hitting football equipment, the baseball kind of on our throwing facility, the baseball outfield fence curves right along the right sector. So we've thrown these on top of um, the baseball fence. We've thrown these into the baseball chain link fence. We've thrown these over into the baseball field one or two times. There is a practice uh, goal post that these have sometimes hit and slid into, uh, sliding across the ground, they ding right into it. Um, there's a light pole on the other side. We've hit once or twice as well for people that pull down the left sector line. I can't even tell you the amount of times I've gone out to get these. Or one of my throwers has thrown and you just hear that crunch, that clang against another piece of metal. And you think to yourself, oh my God, that discus is toast and it's still holding up really, really, really well. No discus is indestructible, but I can tell you 24 years of being involved in the sport of track and field, seven years working for a very high level track and field company, um, we hear or heard about discuses getting wrecked all the time. Something brand new, discus is less than a month old, the plate started to pop out. Or, you know, discus has been, you know, used for the entire season. There's big chunks taken out of the rim. The, the center plate has mushroomed and popped out like we showed you earlier. There's been a lot of issues with other discuses from a bunch of other different brands. I have never once in all of the discuses I've sold through um, my website, all of the discuses that are coming from Nelco USA down in Texas, never have had one returned because a plate popped out of the side or it didn't weigh in properly or that it took too much damage and now it doesn't fly or that a plate has broken or has had a chunk or a hole taken out of it. I have not had any that have returned to me. Uh, Bruce down at Nelco has not had any return to him. This PMD te technology um, really, really, really does work. Uh, they're super, super nice discs. They fly really, really well as any disc is should. Um, they're very, very easy to order as well because they do have a, uh, a rating, like an actual distance rating, not a rim weight. So you know approximately how far you're going to be throwing. That's the discus to buy. And, you know, really they've held up to a ton of damage, just literally a ton of damage. These get my seal of approval. These get the big old uh, Elite Throws Coaching check mark. Make sure you guys check these out. Go to EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Uh, take a look at our store. We have every different type of discus, even 1.5 kilo discs for the master's throwers out there. Take a look, see what you like. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know exactly what you guys are looking for. We'll throw it up on the YouTube channel. Thanks. Talk to you soon.